Welcome back. You're watching Eagle News Canada. I'm Sabir Mufti from Ottawa, Ontario. Thankfully, there were no injuries or any property damage in American Samoa after a massive earthquake near New Zealand resulted in a tsunami warning for the U.S. territory. Two of our Eagle News correspondents, Arian Torres and Falci O'Gayan, saw firsthand all the commotion earlier today and helped offer to send us from our Hawaii Bureau with this report. At about 9.45 a.m. Thursday, Hawaii time, which would be 3.45 a.m. Friday, Philippine time, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center issued a tsunami watch for the Hawaiian Islands, while a tsunami warning was issued for American Samoa and parts of the South Pacific, all of which as a result of a massive 8.1 earthquake that struck off of New Zealand's North Island. And just for a, a clear definition of the terms, a, under a tsunami watch, officials and scientists continue to evaluate the potential threat uh, given the possibility. And under a tsunami warning, uh, the forecast is more definitive, better projected, which would prompt uh, authorities to issue evacuation uh, along the coastal areas. And that was the case for uh, American Samoa, who estimated that the waves would have reached their coastline at about 10.19 a.m. local, which would have been uh, 5.19 a.m. Uh, Philippine time. Now, our very own Arian Torres uh, was at the capital city of Pango Pango, which is also a, uh, a low-lying area sitting right next to the harbor, uh, making this a hazard for flooding. Uh, she was able to share with Eagle News her first-hand encounters with the evacuation of uh, a pair of mostly children, uh, which took place earlier. Kuya, saglit lang. Natagpuan ko na mga anak ko. Bumaba ako ng kotse. Susundan ko kasi sila. Kuya, hindi na ako makapagkuha. Nasa roadside na ako. Nagta-traffic at saka nag-aasikasan ng mga bata. Now, thankfully, uh, the tsunami that was forecasted for American Samoa did not take place. And keeping in mind that uh, uh, that day, uh, today, was still a school day uh, down in the South Pacific Territory. And because they are still free of COVID-19, most, if not all, the children there had in-person schooling. So Arian uh, and others uh, volunteered to help out relocate hundreds of school children to designated evacuation shelters. They were, according to her, they received uh, free food and drink as they awaited further instructions. Now, at around 11 a.m. American Samoa time or 6 uh, a.m. Philippine time, the, uh, the warning issued to American Samoas was downgraded into an advisory. And at about 12.30 uh, noontime here in Hawaii, uh, the, the tsunami watch was canceled altogether. So bottom line, these uh, were uh, this is another series of close calls as a result of, of earthquakes that ha ha happen around uh, this part of the world called the Pacific uh, Ring of Fire. But for, for those who live, lived here, uh, like yours truly, it's still fresh uh, in, in the minds of, of many residents, especially for this month is the 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary of the uh, uh, massive... 9.1 megaquake that struck uh, eastern Japan and that triggered a tsunami clear across the Pacific, affecting us here in the islands, uh, causing some significant property damage. And further back in 2009, American Samoa lost more than 30 lives as a result of a tsunami uh, after an earthquake uh, triggered that area. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, Alfred Asenis, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you.